Celtics hosting the Wizards, and the Celtics are 16.5 point favorites. The over-under is at 238.5. The Wizards are plus 1,040 on the money line, and the Celtics are minus 2,000. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to tip off tomorrow, and they've already changed. The point spread has gone down. The over-under has gone up, and the money lines have come down. There is absolutely no value in betting this game on the money line, but I digress. These teams played each other once this season, and the Celtics won that game in Washington, 126 to 107. Head to head, the Celtics are seven and three. The home team is seven and three. The favorite is seven and three against the money uh, against the spread. The favorite is eight and two on the money line. The over is hitting that last three. The over under is five and five, and the under at 238 and a half is seven and three. As far as the lineups are concerned, the Wizards input a lineup. The Celtics did not. It's supposed to be Pool, uh, Jones, Pool, Avia, Kuzma, and Baldwin. And then, like I said, no one has been inputted for the Celtics. And neither one of these teams played tonight. So we'll see what that means for tomorrow, especially with Tatum being a game time decision. And if he's a game time decision in their 17 point favorites, that, that's not looking so good for the Wizards. The Wizards are 2-8 and eight in their last 10, 4-6 and six against the spread. The under is 8-2 and two in their last 10. They're on a four-game losing streak. There was a total of 234, 212, 252, and then 220. They lost by 16 to the Clippers. They lost by 8 to the Heat. They lost by 28 to the Suns. And then they lost by 8 to the Cavs. Quality teams that they're playing, quality teams that they're losing to, and they haven't really been losing with the exception of one game by this ridiculous point spread. For the Celtics, they are 7-3 in their last 10, 3-7 against the spread, and the under is 7-3. They are 3-1 in their last four. There was a total of 253, 219, 221, and then 242. They beat the Pacers by 5, lost by 9 to the Lakers, then beat the Grizzlies by 40, and then beat the Hawks by 5, um, by 8. If Tatum plays, the Celtics win and cover. If Tatum does not play, I think that the Celtics win, but they don't cover. So I will take the Celtics with the money line, provided that Tatum plays, the Celtics laying the points, and the under. If Tatum does not play, Celtics, Wizards, under. Celtics with the money line, Wizards getting the points, and the under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.